What's up, YouTube? So here we have a 2005 Chevrolet Trailblazer, which Jarrett and I here picked up from a friend of ours, or actually a friend of a friend of ours, yeah. who... A friend of ours, everything he touches breaks, and he worked on this a lot. Which explains why when we got it, it was broken. Now, we've done a couple minor things to this car since getting it, and... Wait, let him guess what we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, for the most part, it's not broken anymore, but you might be able to take a look and say... Some of these things aren't quite like the others. <laughs> well, it's not one, because it's a couple, but oh, yeah. we got green, 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 silver, green, silver. Yeah, okay, so you get the idea. Because there were a lot of bad silver panels. Yeah, <laughs> for whatever reason, it's slowly just changing color. So we're going with it, and eventually we'll have a nice silver car, but for now, silver and green isn't too bad. But no, in all seriousness, the uh, previous owner, Apparently his son caught the garage door on this side, crumpled up the fender, scraped up the bumper pretty good, which we still got the parts over there, but. And then there was some like small damage on this side. Uh, this is hanging down because we're missing a clip back here that we're gonna do later today. But overall, we just replaced the front clip minus the hood. So we got a new uh, grill, both fenders, bumper, and the header bar, which was, or the header panel, I guess. We replaced those, which I'll have a time lapse probably at some point in this video of me and a buddy doing that. thing is and let me pop the hood gotta reach in there for it uh the main reason the previous owner was selling it was that woo, a sensor in here was reading bad on circuits a b and also circuit uh d and e for whatever reason c wasn't a problem so i had popped the hood when we were looking at the car and I know that typically it's something either with this connector here or this piece on the back. I was messing with this, all seemed good. I did unplug and replug it, but nothing really changed. Came over here, pushed this, and it went click. This is the map sensor over here, so I don't know if that had something to do with it, but it went from the previous owner said he could drive it less than a half mile with it going into limp mode, to we recently drove it around my neighborhood for about four miles today with no problems. So from a mechanical standpoint of the issues we knew about when we bought the car, we're good. That being said, we found a couple things since then. So if you look back here, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on video, but you got like all these little steel pieces on this front tire. And very similarly, if you come over here, this front tire's got the, there we go. This front tire's got the same situation going on. You also see some bushings are bad, stuff like that. So the general thought is there's some suspension problems in here. And let me turn this camera off. There we go. Uh, so it's some general suspension problems, a little bit of rust on the car, but honestly, for how many miles is on the car or how many miles are on the car, it's not bad at all. Got some paint scrape here. Might try to do like a paint match rattle can down the road for that, but that's fine. Holy Back tires look good. Shocks look good. A little dirty in here, but not bad. We have a little bit of rusting here, but it's kind of odd because we got the rust on that. But if you come up here, it's not that bad. So it's kind of, we'll see where it's coming from. And then there's like a squeak coming from here. So I don't know if maybe the hub or wheel bearings bad on this wheel, or if it's like a CV issue. We'll have to jack it up and look and see if any of the CV joints are tore. And I think that's pretty much the extent of the problems we know about at the moment. Now, what we're doing right now is one, a deep clean. So, I mean, 
the car. Well, just come over here and look. This thing is... <laughs> okay. So, we got Jared over here, who is slaving away as I'm just, you know, recording some lovely stuff. Oh. Well, I mean, we're already making our money back since we got a lighter, a pen, some straws, that kind of stuff. But the thought is, one, we're taking these out to clean, because obviously, if we had just cleaned around it, one, it'd take ages, and two, you're not going to get bad. all of that. You're not going to get all of it, realistically. So, that's going to be reason number one. Reason number two is, I have some really nice trailblazer seats that have, like, the em emblem in the headrest, and Jarrett wants those seats. Yes, sir. So, I pretty much told him, at the cost I paid for it, I would bought it with the intention of using it on a project... But I made the mistake of not having a project in mind, not having a project in progress that would even remotely relate to those seats. I was just like, those are some cool seats. I'm gonna buy them when I was at Carlisle almost a year ago now. I can't really say anything. <laughs> those are some cool seats. Yeah, honestly, just the like, the fact that one, they're nice leather, great, almost brand new condition. And two, they have like, uh, they're trailblazers, so they have like a mountain with a little trail going up the mountain and a bunch of cool stuff going on. Oh, never mind. Jared's, oh, well, he had a flame coming out of his lighter that he picked up. I but have. Wait, wait. This is the <laughs> He's scene. He's got spark. Okay, this there we go. This is the scene from, uh, uh. That's rusted as heck. But. Oh, what's the movie? The Tom Hanks movie. Castaway. I have created fire. Yeah. Don't it's edit okay. that out. That doesn't go on YouTube. Don't edit that out? Or? No, I said edit that out. We'll see, we'll see. I make the edits, we'll see what happens. <laughs> he already knows what's up, so that's good. But, uh, so, we're just gonna get in here, tear all of these seats, maybe the door panels. I have door panels also, but I'm not sure if they'll match. I don't even know if the seats will match. But we're gonna go probably pull this one and see, but based on what we're finding under that, even if mine don't fit, we're gonna pull all these seats out and clean. Yeah. So, we'll get there. But that's kind of the update at the moment. We'll probably, you know, do a couple updates as we're going through when we have everything pour out, show you some before, show you some after we vacuum and clean and I have a shampooer we're gonna use on it and that kind of stuff. And then maybe we'll yeah, give you like a test drive later. Stank. Excuse me, I need but, to get in here and work. Yeah, so the only other thing, the car was offered to me and him pretty much simultaneously and <laughs> He's shaking his head because I told the guy, our friend, that I wanted to talk to my girl because I knew she was looking for a car as a like daily driver beater to take miles off of her main car. So I was like, okay, you know, let me talk to her, see if she'd be interested. And that same time, Jared hit me up and was like, hey, I heard about this car. I have an interest. Will you go look at it for me? So at that point, I was like, between Jared or I, somebody will take this car. So I paid for it. I paid for most of the stuff with it. And I told Jared, if you want it, it's yours at cost. We'll let you know what happens. And we'll give you a little bit of more of a tour, stuff in the engine bay. We're going to clean it all. And, well, maybe we'll clean it all. We'll clean most of it. We'll clean some of it. So at this point, all the seats have been removed. And we unbolted some stuff back here that we're not going to fully remove. Like, there's some kind of control module over there. This one's still bolted in, but we took off the cover so we can get around it. In the back, I already did do a quick vacuum from like here to the rear. Just because while he was figuring out the front seats and messing around with, around with stuff up here, I went ahead and did that. But this is kind of our before. I'll take a quick walk around. We got all the different trim pieces, that kind of stuff. Seat, 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 all that. Here's the look from the back. This is a Motorola thing, whatever it is. It's got an OnStar. It could be it. So. Because it does say something about TX power. Primary power, 12 volt, 12 volt negative ground. Yeah. It could mm -hmm. be the OnStar module. Yeah, if you look up here, we got the little OnStar buttons. So, could also be your garage door openers. Huh? Oh, no, those are all located, yeah. the whole RFID yeah. and stuff. Um, we just went ahead and threw all the bolts in the dash, or the glove box, so we can vacuum out here without any concern. Well, we didn't get totally done. We pretty much got the front seats pulled out, everything pulled out actually. The carpet started to be cleaned. You can still see their stuff, but it's a lot better than it was. And then, I mean, I just stood in there, so I got a bunch of dirt in there again. Oh well. But we pretty much stopped cleaning the carpets. 
right about at the back of these seats. So like all this stuff's still dirty. I did a little bit with that side over there, cleaned it up. And then back there, we just went ahead and packed everything in. I forgot to mention earlier, also the tail lights are new. Uh, that one was cracked, but I just went ahead and got a set. So if he happens to bust this one out, there's a used one that he will have. Uh, the only real notable thing, we didn't do anything with the seats yet. So like they're still standing on the seats, that kind of stuff. But if we hurry this up, back here, I mean, this is still pretty stained up, but it was a lot worse. So, I mean, overall not perfect, but it was a quick and dirty clean. We had both been out for a while with working last night and then doing all this today. So, yeah, we were working on the dump truck for the majority of the day. Got that one driving. That video, we'll see which video ends up out first. Good think, chance it'll be this one because this one's going to be easier to edit. Yeah. We'll see. I Any final we words? JB weld this. JB weld that? Okay. So yeah, that uh, piece back here I was talking about that I was going to super glue in there to get it to bite on this this latch. I went ahead and super glued it. We let it sit for, what, about an hour or so? Yeah. And it popped right, right off. off. So we're going to try JB weld. Worst case, we might have to run a couple screws from the outside or bolts. So run them through, drop a nut on the other side to tighten them in. But we'll see what happens. But for this video, any final words? You're a little tired, huh? <laughs> I can think of one word. Well, that's not a word we're going to put in this video, so... Just say happy. Happy? Yeah. Happy. Happy dog. Got a truck. Dump truck yeah. works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last night, Jarrett sold his Forester, <laughs> made way too long of a drive on that, and picked up the 2003? 2003. 2003 F350 diesel that he is loving life. So we'll be doing some stuff on that. There's great truck, great truck, mechanically awesome. A little bit of things here and there that we'll probably be doing in the future, but. Front bumper. <laughs> you want Possibly a winch? Possibly a winch. Yeah. Uh, leaf springs in the front. Yeah, new leaf springs. Uh, for people that know, we're gonna go with the X code, which is the leaf springs you get on the front with the snow plow package. And uh, so they're much more heavy duty. They're weighted for like an extra, I think, uh, 600 pounds per leaf spring. So really brings the front end up and they last longer if you're not plowing with it, which I, I don't plan on doing. I might throw a steel bumper on the front and a winch and some to fix the LED pod lights, but that's probably about it. Yeah, figure if you're gonna tear it apart, replace them anyways, might as well go upgrade and make them last longer, make it look better and hopefully make it ride better. But once again, that's still a great truck as it sits. We got it from one of our buddies that we work with. Guy's awesome. And his YouTube, what's his YouTube? Name? Decalation. Decalation. So go ahead and follow him. I'll drop his link down below, Decalation. And Decalation. he has a couple videos on the truck if you wanna go check out some of the history of it. He's also got an awesome rat rod he's building. So take a look at his stuff. It's awesome. But until next time, peace out. Have a good one. Peace out.